Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to add Flurry to your app, uh, Flurry Analytics. Um, this is really simple to do if um, if you don't want to pay a developer to do it. It should only take you 10-15 minutes, maybe, max. I mean, well, if you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, maybe that long. Um, what you want to do is go to Flurry's website and download the SDK, the most recent one. And once you have it downloaded, what you want to do is you want to add it to your project. So from Xcode, you're going to pick where you have it saved, which for me is Flurry, uh, this folder here. We're going to add this folder. You want to make sure that you copy it into your destination uh, your group folder. Um, and add. So there you can see it's added to the project right here. Now what you want to do is click on your uh, your root um, project root here. You're going to go to build phases. You're going to add the system configuration framework. System configuration. There we go. Add it. That shows up right there. Uh, then what you want to do is go to your app delegate and you want to import Flurry. Once you have it added, go to your app delegate.m and you want to select um, application did finish launching, which is not in my file yet. This has did finish launching with options, but that's not the one we want. What we want is you can just go in here and type void application did finish launching. This is the one you want right here. Then you want to um, type in flurry. Oops. And you want to type in start session. And then here you're going to have, um, that's where your um, API key is going to be, which you will get from your app in Flurry uh, online. So you log into your Flurry account, set up your app with them, and then you get your, your API key, and you're going to put it right here. Um, so since I don't have one set up for this yet, um, that's that's all you have to do to start tracking just basic data like number of downloads and stuff like that um, then um, if you want to track some specific events or features what you would do like for me on this particular one I'm working on um, what could I use for a demonstration here um, Let's say, let's say I wanted to track every time that somebody leveled up in this game, which I don't, but just for, um, just for argument's sake, what you do is go to the top of the file. Uh, for this one, you can import it in the .m file. It doesn't have to be the .h. You'd go import flurry, and uh, let's see here, where is my... So every time, this is my function here for um, whenever somebody uh, accumulates points. So I'll use this one instead of levels. What we're going to do is say that when they call this function and they level up, you want to track every time that somebody uh, gets points on this. You would go, oops, wrong one, uh, bracket, you go flurry. Um, start, I mean not start session, uh, track or log event and then you just type in what event, I'd say um, user accumulated points and then in your um, in your online flurry um, account for tracking that particular app, it would tell you every time that this happened in this app. So that's all you have to do to track a specific event. You just give it a name that way you can identify uh, right here, and then that'll tell you how many times that happened. 
Um, they have some other features too if you want. You can uh, you can take a look at their iOS SDK instructions. Uh, but it's pretty simple and pretty fast. I uh, hope you find it useful.